Okay, y'all, so I made it finally. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so the whole flight situation was crazy. I'm gonna explain it probably at the end of this video. Um, Cause I really don't even wanna think about it right now. <laughs> and um, I'm just waiting on the room to get ready. So yeah, it's so pretty. Like, oh my gosh, I love it here. It's so nice and like just my vibe. So I'm excited to see, you know, what's going on, what they got going on. Um, and yeah, I can't wait to get in the pool, honestly. Oh my gosh, I'm ready. So hopefully my room is ready soon and then we can go shower, change, find something to eat, girl, cause I'm starving. <laughs> and then um, possibly go to the pool, so yeah. Done. Okay, finally in the room, waiting on my bags to be brought up here. Um, there was an issue with the room too. Like, it's just a lot going on. <laughs> but um, everything is resolved. I just went to the lunch place that they have. It's called Gabby Beach, it was so good. I had the, what did I have? The black and fish tacos, guac, shrimp ceviche. That's pretty much what it was. I don't remember the exact name of it, but it was pretty much shrimp ceviche. Um, what else they brought like chips and salsa which it was good it was spicy what else i can't even remember the octopus was actually really good they didn't overcook it or it was like cooked perfectly and i never had octopus that was cooked perfectly every time i get it it's terrible it's like chewy like nasty all that but it was really good um and then i had a margarita of course and i think that's all i had I'm pretty sure. But yeah, I'm just waiting on my bag so I can get in the shower. I really want to shower. It's been a long travel day. Um, and then maybe take like a quick walk on the beach because it's literally right there. Like y'all can see, it's literally right there. Like you can see all of the beach and everything. This is the pool right here. And then the people below me actually have like walk-up pools i'm gonna insert a picture right here these are like not walk up well i guess you can walk up to these i don't know but basically their balcony is like right there and then they can just hop in the pool from there i think that's so cool so yeah i'm a uh are they getting married i think they're getting married over there oh my gosh They are. Oh my God. I don't know if I can see that. Oh my God. I'm being nosy. <laughs> They're getting married literally right now. Y'all see them holding hands? Right there. Oh my gosh. Congratulations. I saw the bridesmaids actually walking. <gasps> you can get on horses on the beach. Y'all see them? Y'all, I love it here. I want to get on a horse. 
Oh, that's way too zoomed in. There we go. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's very humid here. My hair is like all puffy and stuff. So I might just go ahead and wash it. Um, because I brought all my stuff too. Oh, also, everything is literally on your bracelet. I think that's so cool. So yeah, I look very pale and crusty. I cannot wait to lay out by the pool and just chill. It's too late to lay out by the pool right now. So I think a walk on the beach would be nice. Just a quick walk. Nothing crazy. And then um, I have dinner reservations at the Asian restaurant that they have here. And I think tomorrow I'm gonna do the Mexican restaurant. But it's just so peaceful and just everything that I've been needing for real. It's just so nice. I love this place. If you're looking for somewhere to just kind of escape like a super peaceful environment, this is definitely a good resort and it wasn't that um, pricey either. Oh, I can't wait to get pictures. I'm just like planning it all out of my head right now. I'm really just processing everything. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. And I think I'm about to just go hop in the shower. Well, wait for my bags, hop in the shower and then I will just catch up with y'all. Once I do that. So the guy brought the bag. Bruh. What the heck? <laughs> Apparently everything in here is complimentary y'all. So I've been eyeing a couple of these. Okay. So we gonna see what they hitting for. I got this Caesar salad from the airport. But yeah, everything in here is complimentary. Is this ice cream? What is this? Okay. I'm gonna try to do something with my hair because it looks well traveled. <laughs> so I bought this um, gel from Pattern Beauty. I've never tried anything Pattern Beauty, but this was just happened to be like one of the available travel size gels. So we're gonna try this and see if I like it or not. I'm gonna just put it on my hair because I kinda wanna see if I can get a picture somewhere, possibly, we'll see. Even though my hair is like technically straight, I feel like this gel doesn't feel like it's gonna revert it. You know what I mean? This is kind of nice. I wonder if this is gonna work on my like curly hair, you know? Because my curly hair be stubborn. So we'll see. I'm not even gonna take the bun out. I'm gonna just brush it. Cause it's gonna be from the front anyway, if I do get a picture. And then, where is my, I don't know what this is. And then I had my Eco Styler in here stuff. Oh, here we go. I put it in this little, so I had emptied uh, this little EBIN edge control out and I put my gel in there because, yeah. I didn't have a little travel thing for it. And I didn't want to put it in one of the little squeeze tubes that they have. I need to find some travel like things like this but just a little bigger because some of my products just aren't like you can't squeeze them you know like you gotta so yeah but I'm gonna try to do this and then go over there and just try to see if I can even get like a selfie or something or I don't know you know or I can just like set my phone down and film like a little reel or something. I don't know. We're we'll gonna figure it out. All right. It's as good as we're gonna get. I have on this little um sports bra from Aritzia. The shorts are also from Aritzia. My leggings that I wore to the airport were from Aritzia, and the jacket that I wore to the airport was also from Aritzia. <laughs> so yeah, just Aritzia it out. I'm actually gonna redo this bun because. I don't know. It just ain't looking too hot in the back. Okay. Then I have extra hair ties. wash it probably tomorrow morning and just have my curls out tomorrow morning because I brought everything to do that so that'll probably be what I do 
for a hair tomorrow. Uh, oh, girl, these Zara sandals about to be the death of me, child. My feet keep slipping out of them. But I just have one. Um, I just changed to the Aritzia shorts, the, um, the, what is this? The sports bra and this little shirt from Express. And then I have on these Zara sandals I'll show you in a second. But I was like, I'm gonna shower after I come from the beach because it might be hot, but the sun just went down. So yeah, anyway, I might get a drink and then go, and then go to the, uh, the beach. But they're getting married, look. So, well, I think they already got married and this is like their reception. This is the way to the beach. Down this little pathway. And they have the horses over there. Y'all, look at the crabs on this rock. Do y'all see them? They're like all over here, all over here. That's crazy. Oh, that is a good one. That's really good. Put that on your uh, okay, you honey a fish or whatever. <laughs> Tinder account. <laughs> like put that on your Tinder page, right? Instead of a fish. That is just a good one. Okay, this one I'm wearing. My hair is in this like bun, and I have on this Skims dress, just a long dress, with my little Zara sandals. Very simple. I'm just going to dinner at this Asian restaurant. I don't know what the name of it is, but I'll figure it out when I get there. But yeah, I just love this little dress. It's something to throw on. I think tomorrow I'm gonna get more cute, you know? so today i want to take a picture over at these little steps that i saw actually i saw on their instagram um and also on the like uh the booking site or whatever like when they have all the pictures and stuff and i was like i'm gonna take a picture there so i brought this outfit that i think is gonna be super cute it's really early in the morning it's um it's 8 28 here so it's not really early because it's i think it's like 10 28 at home i think home is two hours ahead so yeah let me get dressed well let me show y'all what i'm gonna wear so this is my pajamas <laughs> so i have this dress that i wore on my birthday i want to say two years ago a year ago honestly i'm not even sure it might have been a year ago so i have that from zara and then i'm gonna wear this tonight and then can i bring the white bikini yes it's in here hold on let me get it out okay so i have this white bikini i think i got this from oh yes yeah, from matt swim so i have that and then this little white belt to go around and then i also have my i'm gonna wear my um our mess sandals that i just got i'm gonna do an unboxing i'm gonna put up an unboxing on my instagram um and then my little white jack mousse bag and i feel like that is going to be so cute like right all that together with this little pop of green on those like beige steps so yeah let me put that on um already like 
wash my face, put some moisturizer on. I'm not gonna wear any makeup. I barely wore makeup to dinner last night. I just did like little spot treatments or whatever, barely. Um, so yeah, let's get dressed. <laughs> Why did I just start my period? Y'all, what? why i mean honestly i would much rather come on this trip than my birthday trip so shout out to god he must be up there doing something but like for real when i was literally about to put on a white bikini like really <laughs> um so i have to go find like a little store or something i saw one uh earlier not earlier but yesterday when i was walking when they were bringing everything to the room I saw like one off to the side, but I'm not sure if it's like a convenience store. Cause I just really saw like, it was giving souvenirs, okay? Like not souvenirs, but you know, just like beach cover-ups and like books and <laughs> little necklaces, like, I don't know. So I'm gonna have to go see at least what they have or call, I'm gonna call the front desk. That's a good idea. <laughs> Let me just call the front desk. Y'all didn't literally just answer and hung up on me. Okay. Bruh. Why do they keep hanging up? Like, what in the world? I guess I'm going to guest service. Hi, I was calling to see if any of you guys' um, stores were open and if they sold any women's products like tampons or pads. Okay. They got me on hold, Joe. I was looking for this shirt. I was like, where did I throw it last night? Get over there with my bag. This song came on and went off three times, y'all. Um, but I went outside uh, when I woke up. It's so nice outside. And it's like 8 o'clock in the morning here. Like, it's, I want to say it's probably like 75 degrees. It's so nice outside. Everything is so peaceful. Not everybody is up and out yet. Like, mm, love it. That's why I wanted to go take my picture now, but it's like throwing a little wrench in my plans. Like, <laughs> but we'll still be able to get it. So I'm really trying to um, go take it before the sun comes on the steps because I don't really like direct sunlight. I feel like it's just too much. But we'll see you know we'll see because i am going to wear sunglasses with the outfit too i got these desi sunglasses i'm gonna show y'all but they're very very cute all right so i went to the convenience store and they didn't have any tampons but um when i went to go schedule my covid test they said that um i was asking them about near like uh convenience stores near me or near the resort and they said that they could actually deliver stuff right after i freaking bought these uh pads so i'm gonna just work it out with these for now and then um they're gonna deliver them i don't know when he said he's gonna text me but yeah that's actually really convenient so and now i'm about to actually finally put on this outfit and try to go take a picture but i'll have to come back and change bikinis and then go to the pool um also order room service before i left so hopefully it's there if it's not it should be soon because they said like 30 minutes so and y'all i forgot to show y'all outside in the morning i mean the sun is pretty much at the top of the sky already but those are the steps over there that i'm gonna you can't even see honestly so i need to hurry up and go over there but here's how it looks and you have the beach over there very cute there's people walking on the beach already oh the sun okay let me go on this side there's a little shade over here ouch but yeah so i need to get dressed but i'm like flat i'm like lagging a little bit i also want to go to the pool like i want to go to the pool as soon as i'm done taking pictures but i'm sidetracked i'm like lagging a little bit because every time it's like the first day like I just be moving so slow, so I need to get it together. I really didn't see a lot of people in the pool yesterday either. Like, I don't be getting in the pool like that either, but like, oh, okay. Thank you. 
There it is. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Looks good. All right, here is my breakfast. It looks so good. Girl, got two mimosas, okay, period. Um, got some fruit. That looks good, oh mm, yes. Got some bread, I don't eat bread, but I just got it because I knew it would look cute for the picture. <laughs> um, I guess they give you like ketchup and like salt and pepper, jam for your bread, butter, and then this is what I got, just scrambled eggs, has bacon, I'm probably not gonna eat that. I don't know what this is. I think this is the hash brown or home fries and they give you a little roasted tomato. But I was like, I can sit right here, you know? Like, just give it, you know? So, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Sit right here, hopefully the lighting is like decent. I feel like it might be, so. Yeah. Um, I'm really trying to keep a lookout for these steps to make sure that the sun is not like on them, on them. Because now that the room service is here, I can knock that picture out, get dressed, and then boom. I just called for more towels too, so I um so when I get back, I can take a shower. Hopefully by that time they had delivered the the tampons, and I can take a shower, go to the pool, like change my bikini and stuff, go to the pool, catch some sun or whatever. And then I don't know what I'm going to do after that, honestly. Like, I think I'm going to just really chill by the pool, like, have a very relaxing day. And then try to figure out what I'm going to do at nighttime. Um, they said they're going to text me when it comes. Here's what we're wearing. A little shirt dress from Zara. White bikini. This little belt I got off of Amazon last minute. Um, this Jack Moose bag. And then my little Hermes um, sandals. And then featuring the dirty towels that needs to be laundered but hopefully while i'm gone they will do every well they brought new towels but hopefully they take that and like do the bed and everything so that's what i'm wearing okay we're back in the room because i forgot my sunglasses to go with this outfit which are these and they also i'm trying to hurry up y'all because i don't have a lot of time but these are here i don't know what they're called oh wait they might be on the inside because my other ones are these are called six feet so yeah, I'm wearing these and they also delivered the tampon so we're all good. So now I'm honestly just about to pack a little small bag to head to the pool because now I can actually just go straight to the pool instead of sitting around waiting for, um, you know, them to deliver it. So I'm trying to find like that screen. I think it's in here in the bathroom yeah sunscreen this is my super goop the uh power play and then my tanning oil this is i can't remember i really don't remember i think it's like yeah i don't know don't give me that <laughs> but um yeah there's that that's really all i need for real for the pool so i'm gonna go ahead and take these two there's a top that goes to this and i can't find it I probably should find it because this is a whole oil and I don't want this to like spill or anything. I also had to redo my edges, y'all, because it was looking a little crazy. So, yeah. Okay, it is what it is. I don't know. Can't find it. So, whatever. We out because I'm trying to get this picture and then also lay at the pool for a good amount of time so I can at least catch a tan or something. You know, like, dang, I'm trying to catch a tanny tan. I'm trying to catch a little tan. <laughs> okay, let me, uh, honestly, I'm just gonna put my Melissa Simone bathing suit on and um, still wear this little cover up, honestly, cause it just goes with it still. So, let's go. Honestly, might leave, what is this? Oh, my freaking bikini thing i might leave my camera in here because i don't want it to like overheat or anything while i'm laying at the pool so i'm just walking my phone and i'm going right back to the room because i literally forgot that i had a covid test i love that i can scan my little bracelet to get in the room that's so cool um i forgot i scheduled a covid test for noon girl like my life is all over the place right now I'm really just trying to get a freaking picture. It's been four hours and I still don't have one photo. Like, where the heck did I put? Oh, right here. I'm like, where did I even put them? Boom. Okay, let me put this 
in my purse. This is too much. Like, what? <laughs> Why would this be your life? But okay, I'm gonna drink the rest of this. Mm. Okay, let's go. Thank you. My little edges ain't standing chance, but I'm at the little lunch spot now. It's called Gabby Beach, and I had some like chips and guac, some shrimp ceviche. The fish ceviche was a little fishy, so I <laughs> sent it back. Um, well, I didn't send it back, but I just didn't eat most of it. Um, what else did I have? I'm blanking already, y'all. Oh my god, what did I have? I don't even know, but I ordered the shrimp tacos for my entree i had a tequila sunrise before now i'm drinking a, a margarita Ooh, and then i'm eyeing like they have like a little food stand over there and i don't know what it is but everybody keeps going up there to get some so i'm like once i go to the pool i'm about to go up there and get some too because it looks i don't know everybody's just going up there so i'm interested but yeah i switched into this little um linen shirt from h&m and my bikini is from Melissa Simone. And yeah, once I finish eating, I'm gonna go lay out by the pool for most of the day, honestly, just trying to catch most of the sun. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all I'm gonna do. Like, I'm this trip was supposed to be just super relaxing for me. Um, and I haven't been vlogging a lot because there's so much music that I don't know what's copywritten and what's not. The food is here, got shrimp tacos. They look so good. Oh, that's good. We're just laying by the pool now, finally. Um, I'm about to put on my sunscreen for the rest of my body, put on some tanning oil and just chill, honestly. Um, it's not a lot going on out here. Like it's very chill out here. Like not a lot of people doing too much, which I like though. It's a couple people in the pool, but yeah, it's very relaxing. So I'm just about to really chill, relax, try to catch a tan and you know, get a little me time in. Um, I've been like talking to a couple of my friends before this, so yeah, I'm ready to just relax for real. This is literally what this trip is supposed to be about just relaxation, like centering my peace, like all that good stuff. So I'm feeling really good and just ready to catch a little tan. So I'm about to throw on some of my sun balm, it's all in my purse. I put them in these little bottles that I got from Target. Oh, and my little fan, y'all. I got this fan from Amazon. Y'all, this little fan right here is so cute. First of all, it's small, so it fits in all of my little bags. Y'all know I only carry like the smallest bags ever. <laughs> and it fits in my bags, so I thought that was so funny. But this one is way better than the one that I had in Vegas. I don't know if I showed y'all the one that I had in Vegas, but it's like a little bigger, a little thicker. This one is perfect. And my girl Jazz, of course, my lash tech, she put me onto these so they're really skinny and like small and they just fit right in my little purse even my jacques mousse y'all know nothing fit in the jacques mousse bag okay but this actually fits in there and it's powerful like oh this is like the best thing ever so yeah i'm about to be using this and oh not a flower 
Y'all, look at this iguana, y'all. Can y'all see him? He's right there. I'm trying to walk on the beach, but he's right there. Look at him. He's oh, he climbed the tree. Oh, that bird fucking with him. Oh my god. <laughs> Y'all, I was like, what is going on outside? I was in the shower. I know y'all hear them. I was in the shower and I heard all of this noise. But they're doing like a little show over here. So there's a courtyard right here. It's like a big open space. So I guess they do different little things over there. And I'm missing it, y'all. Oh, are they on stilts? No, I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> I was like, hold on. Everything else is closed, like the pool. Okay. Oops. At breakfast, I'm gonna show y'all what I got. It's like buffet style. So I made a bagel with some smoked salmon. I have to like unroll it and put the tomatoes on there. This is like a roasted tomato, some potatoes, chicken tamale. I don't know what this is, but I wanted to try it because I saw somebody else eating it. Um, I got some tea, orange juice, and also some fruit. <laughs> yeah. Little ketchup and stuff. I'm sitting in the corner, like out here. One last walk on the beach before I go. I'm leaving in a, like maybe an hour or so. I just wanna walk. Like, look at this, y'all. It is gorgeous. I love it here. I love it here. Y'all have to come here. It's called Paradisus. It's so pretty. Like, everything about it is gorgeous. Like, you have all these other resorts, too, but I don't know. I like this one the best. <laughs> but look at how pretty. Like, oh, my God. Get up out of here, hold on. I'm gonna fail. Look at him. Is he gonna run? Oh no, he's not scared. Okay. What should we name him? Bye, Chris. Okay. <laughs> All right, y'all. So I'm leaving now. I'm just waiting on an Uber. Um, but yeah, just checked out. I had so much fun. Like, I had a freaking blast. It's probably loud in here because they have a waterfall over there. But anyway, this little seating area. This seating area is so cute. Look at these little hand chairs right here. Very, very cute. I had a little issue with the spa because I was... I'm going to just explain it all when I get home because there was just, like, little mini issues that honestly didn't ruin my trip, but it was just, like... You know, look at the devil trying to trying to get me. But um, yeah, I had so much fun. This is such a relaxing trip. I took a walk on the beach earlier, like y'all saw. After that, I came back, showered, and just started packing and like getting ready and cleaning up the room a little bit. Um, and now I'm about to go. So I will see you guys when I get home. Hey y'all, I'm back finally. So I actually got back yesterday at like one in the morning, y'all. So. I'm gonna explain to y'all like what kind of happened because I look crazy by the way because I just woke up. <sighs> okay, just don't mind it. <laughs> we all have our crusty days. Anyway, so um okay, 
really quick, let me run it down to let me run it down to tell y'all what happened on the way there and you know when i was telling y'all like oh like the flight situation was weird so got to the airport i'm sorry they were like oh a whole chunk of lashes just came out oh my god and i literally told jazz i'm like i'm gonna just need a fill like i won't need a full set for my birthday i'm gonna text her and be like girl give me that full set <laughs> but anyway um so went to the airport right on time was there you know First of all, camera. <laughs> Let me put like this. Okay, so first of all, got there on time, right? I'm gonna set the scene for y'all. Got there on time, got on the plane. They had a maintenance issue. A freaking maintenance issue, y'all. And I flew United, y'all. And I had never flew United before. And you know they had that whole thing. But um I had went on I usually fly Southwest because I've just been flying with them for years and years and years and years. So I always have points. I always have like the best boarding times. Like every time I check in, I get the A group. I'm boarding kind of first. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm literally up there, you know, because I've just flown with them throughout my entire life. Like literally for years and 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 years. And years. Like ever since I was little. So um, I always just have the best treatment over there because i've just been flying with them for so long i want to do the switch over to delta honestly but we're gonna talk about that another time anyway so um yeah <laughs> so i usually fly with southwest didn't find no flights because it was a super last minute trip like i told you i was very spontaneous so i went through i just kind of typed it into google and then i went to expedia because it was like really y'all be so loud like I'm trying to tell the story. So I went to Expedia because it was just the first website right there and it gave me like all the available like options and it said United had some for a really good price and like you know especially with it being last minute it was a good price and the layovers weren't too bad and blah blah blah. So I was like okay all of the flights that they gave me were mostly United. So I just went to United went to the United website and just looked up everything. It was a great price. I only paid like I want to say $600 round trip and that's good for so last minute when I tell you like three days before the trip like that's good for last minute right all right so now we're back on the plane I just wanted to tell you how I started to fly United because I never flew them before and I never will again so got on the plane we were sitting there and I'm like when are we gonna take off like what's going on the pilot or whoever the one of the um flight attendants was like yeah we're having a maintenance issue uh we have to pull back into the gate because we had like pulled out and we were just sitting there i'm like why are we not driving like what's going on <laughs> so there was a maintenance issue apparently and they had to go back to the gate get it fixed and get the paperwork and then then we could leave that took an hour a whole hour my layover in chicago was only like an hour and like 15 minutes barely it was like 45 minutes to be honest okay so got to chicago where my layover was and i had maybe like 10 minutes to spare like maybe 15 minutes got off the flight like first of all let me tell you something the flight attendant was like if you have a tight connecting flight raise your hand and if you do not don't get up when the plane land okay everybody freaking got up when the plane landed which made all of us miss our connecting flight like it was just crazy because it was somebody else on the plane with me that it was a couple they missed their flight i know the lady sitting next to me she was like i have a very very tight flight like two like i know she missed it because let me tell you something i ran through that airport like I was being chased okay <laughs> and she at first when we got the plane we were looking at the signs to like see which way to go and united why would you do this i understand it's a it's a um international flight or whatever but my flight went into like the the c terminal i had to go all the way to b terminal do you know what i had to do I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> I don't even want to talk about it. I got PTSD. I'm, tra I'm traumatized. I don't know. But yeah, so I had to run through the airport all the way to another terminal, y'all. And my I'm out of breath, sis. I'm out of breath. So I couldn't run the entire time. Got to the gate. They had literally just closed it. 
just close it like that. It wasn't even time to like take off or anything. I had like five more minutes to spare, but they closed it and they was like, well, can't do nothing. And the other couple was there. <clears throat> I don't know how they get there so quick. They just got there quick as hell. But hey, I should have rolled on their back or something. I don't know. But they missed it too, so maybe I shouldn't have. But anyway, <laughs> so they had just closed the gate. So I'm like, dang, what am I supposed to do? Like, they had another flight that took off in like an hour and like 30 minutes or so. And it was a straight flight to Cabo from Chicago. And so it automatically put them on the on the flight because with the United app, I like how organized the United app is. Like, that's cool or whatever. But yeah it didn't automatically put me on the flight and i was like what about me like because i was talking to them and this other lady was trying to help us i think she was a flight attendant and she was trying to help both of us like you know get on the next flight to cabo and their united app or whatever automatically put them on it and she was like well i don't know why yours didn't do it so she had to go in the computer and it took her forever to like switch everything oh my god so I was like, I'm gonna miss this flight too. <laughs> but luckily I didn't, it really didn't take that long. But that's how I was feeling. I was like, oh my gosh. So finally got on the freaking plane. <laughs> got to Cabo. First of all, getting out of the airport is SJD. I think it's San Jose something. Getting out of that airport is H-E double hockey stick, baby. Okay, because you have to go through immigration. You got to go through customs. You got to go this. And Lord, I didn't even check a bag. And it took me two hours to get out of that airport. Two hours. Two. Okay. So imagine. I'm going to get to that. So had to get on a shuttle to go to the resort. I recommend getting on a shuttle because it's cheaper. Um, so yeah. Got on the shuttle. It was like $15 a person. And got on the shuttle and it takes you straight to your resort. It takes you to like a bunch of resorts. Luckily, I got dropped off first because I guess mine was the closest of everybody else's. So when I got on the shuttle, first of all, before you get on the shuttle, everybody is trying to get you to spend your money and book activities and stuff. Don't book with them, okay? You can if you want to, but they're really going to tell you like, oh, you can only get this deal right now, this, this, and that. Please, if you find somebody else trying to haggle you, they're going to try to give you the same deal, whether you're at the airport or not. So, yeah, I didn't do any of that. Um, but, yeah, when I got on the shuttle, there was an old guy sitting next to me. I had to sit, like, in the corner in the back. It was weird. Y'all saw. Um, <laughs> this guy next to me, the old guy, he was like, yeah, our bags took an hour and a half to get from the train to the little trolley thing and i was like dang and then on top of that he had to go through immigration and customs too so that means it took him like three hours four hours to get out of the airport that's crazy and it's also just a big cluster like it's a it's a huge shit show y'all it's a it's a shit show okay it's so many people all over the place like oh i just cannot like i cannot mm -mm, no <laughs> So yeah, finally got out of the airport, y'all. If they hand you a piece of paper on the plane, keep it. If they hand you, if they tell you to fill out whatever, fill it out. Because I was missing documents. I was so confused, y'all. It was a mess. Always keep your passport in your hand because everybody gonna ask for it. <sighs> and the crazy part about it is I'm flying right back to the airport for my birthday trip, which is not too bad because now I kind of know what to expect. So I'm kind of glad I went, but um, yeah anyway so i'm just not looking forward to like all the shit show this like i'm not feeling it okay got to the resort so the booking was for a king bed it was beachfront it's supposed to have a balcony and like you know it was supposed to be cute they took me to that room it had two beds no balcony no view it was like you look out of the window and it's a freaking gate right there I'm not even tall enough to look over the gate. Like, what? In the, so I stormed my behind right back up. And the guy that was bringing my bags, I was like, yeah, we got to turn around. We got to go back to the lobby. So he was like, what do you mean? This ain't the room, sweetie. So I stormed my behind right back up to that front desk. I said, excuse me, this not what I booked. What y'all gonna do about it? What are we gonna do? Luckily, the guy was very helpful and he switched the room. He actually showed me a room um before he switched everything he was like let me take you to a room that i feel like you would like and this one was ocean view not ocean front so you could kind of see the pool i mean y'all saw the view um 
So he's like, let me take you to a room, see if you like it before we switch everything to make sure that you're satisfied. And I was like, that is so sweet. So one thing about this resort, Paradisu, they are so nice. Like everybody is super, super, super nice, very accommodating. Like they want to help you. They want to get you lit. <laughs> they want to feed you. Like they're so sweet everywhere. It's all inclusive. Like literally everything is free. Even the stuff in the little mini bar, in the mini fridge, in your room is free, girl. So drink it up, okay? Um what else i think that was like all the complications because after that everything was like perfect so that's everything that happened y'all oh i also picked up some white henny so i've never had this before yeah i know i probably like girl you never had that no i never have actually um but i know my sister likes hennessy so i just went ahead and picked her up one I actually got two i'm gonna leave one here and i got one for her because i know she likes hennessy so i know she's gonna be very happy about that um but yeah that's literally everything y'all like y'all need to go to this resort i'm trying to go back right now okay like i love it there anyway hopefully you guys enjoyed this video i had such a good time i feel so much refreshed i'm a little jet lagged so i'm about to go rest and like maybe answer some emails and stuff but i had such a good time i enjoyed myself so hopefully you guys enjoyed the vlog love you guys i'll see you guys in my next one